If we keep working on such technologies with the help of the government, our country will change significantly in the coming few years. Everybody say, excuse me, you know, who are you? What are you doing? And you have to explain to everyone coming uh, up with that question. And that was a bit challenging time for us, you know, to ask others to trust you. Lersha is more than an application. It's more than Facebook and other applications I use. It's significant and it's where I got a job and got employed. For me, it's where I feel relevant and where I get income. Ethiopia's agricultural sector forms the backbone of the economy. Around 80% of Ethiopians are engaged in the sector, yet yields are low, even by African standards. COVID-19 poses another challenge in supplying farm input like seed or fertilizer and supporting mechanization services for smallholder farmers. How can digital solutions help pushing Ethiopian agriculture forward? We met Abraham Andreas, who plans to revolutionize the Ethiopian agricultural sector. He's the founder and managing director of the digital platform Le Asha. His goal? Making agriculture in Ethiopia easy for everyone. But how can digital agriculture even be possible and successful in Ethiopia, where connectivity is low, internet blackouts are common and millions of smallholder farmers still plow with oxen without a smartphone in their hands? Lersha is providing farm input, mechanization and advisory. It's a one-stop digital service. For a farmer coming to Lersha, they can get everything that they need for the farm. In the past, it was difficult to access the inputs we require at the right time and at the right place. We don't get it when we need it. Sometimes we might see a pest on our crop and we might need the pesticide that same day and we could not get it. Even if we do, it's very expensive. Most times, it's inaccessible and when it is accessible, it comes with an unfair price. We might go as far as a week waiting on the inputs we need. These are some of the challenges. For Abraham, the Ethiopian agricultural sector lacks to provide accessible tools, operation services and advices farmers need in one place. Lersha, as a digital platform, helps to create this connection between a farmer and a service provider. If there's no smartphone available, the Lersha call center or a Lersha agent will help the process. The Lersha agent having all the, the sh virtual shop in the mobile phone will uh, will have a discussion, a talk on what is the need for the farmers, what type of uh, crop diseases they are encountering. The Lersha agent will do the registration of a farmer. Then on the behalf of a farmer, the Lersha agent will put the order from uh, uh, a nearer uh, farm service center. So every Lersha agent is mapped with a closest farm service center. So a, a closest farm service center will get a notification from uh, a Lersha agent that the order has been made for XYZ commodities and also automatically they will get a notification that the deposit is made on their account. The moment the order arrives at a farm service center, the farm service center will call the motorbike, which is also in the neighborhood. As easy as that, but also we guarantee same day delivery. Which uh, after ordering the farm input, we want to make sure the same farmer will receive the input in the same day. Before COVID, we tried to convince Ministry of Agriculture and many development partners but they were not sure if this really works in Ethiopia. Also, they gave us, you know, that small uh, meeting time even to listen to our full story. But I think as a startup, there are a number of things to complain and to be disappointed. But as a digital company, not having internet connection is, is, is a very low light. Is, uh, that was the lowest moment for us because we had an internet connection uh, shut off for two weeks last June and that was really headache time for us because uh, a platform like us working partially on online if you don't have any internet connection they will be stuck on the development process. For Abraham, some of the experienced low lights were learning curves. Facing the low internet coverage and blackouts in Ethiopia his team added a call center to the Lersha app and for gaining more trust in using digital solutions within rural surroundings and accessing more smallholder farmers 
Abraham is on another mission. It needs passion to connect rural communities with unknown digital solutions. A passion that he clearly sees in the eyes of the young Lersha agents. There are the thousands of agriculture graduate but unemployed young people in the rural area. So we are offering a platform to be used by these young people so that these young people bring value to the farmers. So th there are dots everywhere. We as a digital passionate company, we build a platform. We're just connecting these dots. You have to see that vision. So the Lersha agents are better than anyone else to share our vision. This has an impact at a bigger level. Farmers still use oxen to plow. When we provide machinery in our service, we can contribute at a large scale. We provide technical advice on how to use and apply inputs. I'm an agriculture expert. I can not only give farmers access to the inputs, but also tell them how to use it, mix it up, and also apply it on the farm. I, I think the magic to move Ethiopian agriculture is access. Access to the farm need. Through technology, we believed Lersha can provide a one-stop digital service. Through that, we believe we can achieve efficiency. Lersha provides the inputs we require at the right time and at the right place. It saves us transportation costs, it saves us time, and ultimately it saves our crops from any sort of damage and any sort of pest by providing us all the inputs we need instantly. But it is just after COVID, we received a number of calls from different partners and government. Let's speak about it. I think now it's time to try this digital agriculture in Ethiopia. That was one of the incidents that I said, okay, let's not give up on this agriculture journey. Let's continue it. So I had that many moments like that, and I'm proud of those moments that I said, okay, let's not give up on that. And the gray hairs in my hairs are growing, you know, night by night. And let's say, let them grow. Let them grow, it's fine. <laughs> so I think I'm proud of that not quitting. And, 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 and I think that's what matters on this entrepreneurship journey.